Welcome everyone on this Facebook live stream and we are live from a very special country, Indonesia. And today we are in Bali. It's an amazing island and we are in Ubud. And why are we in Ubud? Because here um, it's my favorite uh, South, uh, Southeastern Asian food festival. It's the Ubud Food Festival. Um, and today it's going to be amazing because we are, I'm going to cook with Bara. This is Bara. Hi. Hello. Hi uh, everybody. And you might know Bara. He has an really nice uh, YouTube channel, he is on Instagram, he's doing television show, he's, he's jury in, in the MasterChef, right Bara? Yes. And Bara, uh, he's one of my most, uh, the most inspiring chefs for me uh, on Indonesian food. Um, he will tell you all about where he's coming from. Um, but if you have any questions on Indonesian food, uh, on maybe especially Balinese or Ambonese food, today is the day to question. Please leave your questions in the box down uh, at this fa Facebook stream. Um, so we just start cooking, and but also we have Jeanette here, and Jeanette is <laughs> Jeanette is the founder of this amazing festival. It's the director of this amazing festival. Uh, Jeanette wrote beautiful cookbooks on um, Balinese, on Indonesian food, originally Australian, right? Um, she has many restaurants here, and she has a cooking school. So also ask your question to to Jeanette, and Jeanette will. Every now and then we come back to Jeanette if there are popping up questions from your side, from all over the world. Mm -hmm. So Bara. Yes, Bart. Thank you for joining me. You're most welcome. It's so much fun to be here. Good, yeah. good. So um, today we're going to make a really classic. Well, you should explain. Okay. Make. So today's menu <laughs> that I'm going to cook with Bart. Well, we're not cooking actually. We're simply mixing it. Yeah. Well, Bart is going to do it actually. <laughs> I'm just going to supervise you. You're going to be the one that's cooking okay, it. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. So it's a uh, Ambonese food. Well, it's part of Indonesia. Indonesia is very, very large. You know, if, if I just give you an idea how big it is, from the uh, western part all the way to the eastern part of Indonesia, it's just like from London to Moscow. Yeah. So can you imagine how it's big huge. it is and the variety of the culinary diversity? All kind of beautiful yeah. flavors. That's right. And the beautiful thing, what I, well, I'm here now for the fourth time, and we just arrived two days ago, but it's so close to local produce. It's 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 the, the truth of, of of cooking with your environment, right? With, exactly. What, which you can find closely to you. Uh, because of the ingredients and all of the yeah, spices. Yeah, so maybe you can. This is yeah. This, this is, is like a we, typical palette, right? This is the typical Indonesian palette. So basically, we have the dry herbs, the cinnamon, the coriander. Connection. Oh, it's it's back. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> we're back. This is live stream. This is Facebook, uh, but it's fun. So please stay tuned. As soon as the the, the line or the, the connection is interrupted, we will be back. We assure you. Okay. Yeah. So Bara was explaining. So um, you. We have the, we have the these cumin. These are the dry herbs. Yeah. We have the cumin. We have the coriander. We have this uh, cinnamon. We have the uh, nutmeg, nutmeg over here. And this is an interesting story, right? Because the nutmeg starts here, right? The nutmeg starts here. This yeah. is the, the... Okay, there you go. This is the fruit. And then, you know, the nutmeg is actually the seed of the fruit. Oh, wow. And then we have That's the maize. The maize is... This is what becomes out of it. This is, this is actually why the Spaniards and the Portuguese, you know, they came in the 16th century to try to find this because, you know, in Ambon, that's the only place where you can find nutmeg and all all the and all that. Right. Yeah. yeah. And of course, your yeah, garlic and shallots are something that uh, we use in... This is interesting, right? Ah, this is family this. of the star fruit, right? This is the family of a star fruit. It's called finger lime. So if you don't have this, you know, you can use any kind of... Uh, sort of juicy and sour fruit you can substitute with that Quite yeah easy. because that's important we're going to cook um, we start cooking now, we'll start cooking now. Um, the thing is that that you might well not not find this in your local store uh, wherever you are in the world but we're going to tell you with what ingredients you easily can replace it yes, right Barra? exactly good it's easy to substitute it with because actually because in the kitchen cooking uh, it, it, it's, it's flavorful there's it's a lot of ingredients very flavorful yeah but it's it balancing of the, all the herbs or spices. It seems easy, but yeah. actually balancing it, that's the key. But the cooking process is easy. Right? The cooking process is so easy. Really it's not try. Yeah, and okay. start with it. So, you can start with it. So, okay. we have chili here that has been boiled for 10 minutes. Now, why yes. we boil the chili? It's to get rid of that raw yeah. flavor of yeah. it. Because so the, it will be more what smooth, we're doing right? here is something very, very healthy. There's no cooking involved at all. Good. So, so yes, yeah, go ahead. Maybe 
as I'm from Seafood Channel, right? Uh -huh. Fish tails. So the, the recipe base is tuna, right? We're it's going tuna. to cook with tuna. That's um, right. This, well, I have this beautiful... This. this is the base for our today's dish. I have this beautiful smoked skipjack tuna, which is air flown from Ambon, actually. <laughs> it just arrived this morning, especially VIP. This is a v <laughs> very important fish, or VIF, eh? very important fish. <laughs> so this is a uh, steamed, a uh, steam, sorry, smoked, I mean, yeah. smoked using a coconut shell. Yeah. Oh, you're doing very well. And, and maybe the, the flying in was not that sustainable, <laughs> but the important thing about, we, we need to be aware that tuna is uh, in many places around the world uh, endangered, especially bluefin tuna, you shouldn't yeah. touch it. Uh, we have yellowfin, yellowfin tuna, but skipjack tuna, and especially here because, and this is actually uh, uh, Tim, Tim is the cameraman, you, Maybe see him afterwards. <laughs> He's saying no. He right said now. no. Um, we are going to uh, to fly to Sulawesi afterwards to go to a Indonesian pull and line tuna uh -huh. fishery, uh -huh. and that's the way to go for the future. Uh, so really, if you use tuna, smoked fish, make sure it comes from a sustainable source, um, because yeah, this is the base. But you can easily replace it by any smoked fish. Any right? kind of smoked fish. Smoked will mackerel. Do. Yes. Smoked salmon. Smoked trout. Good. Okay. And um, what are you making again, guys? Oh, so, yeah, we have a set. <laughs> it's this a is, bar. <laughs> this is a dish from Ambon. It's called Kohu Kohu. Ambon is like the eastern part of Indonesia. It's called Kohu Kohu. Don't ask me what it means. <laughs> it has no <laughs> meaning. It's just we just call it Kohu Kohu. It's very healthy. It's raw actually, so it's very good for vegetarian. Yeah. So, uh, Jeanette, are there questions are there coming questions in? Questions coming in. Um, the biggest question we have so far is, uh, where's Jamie? <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, a good thing, Jamie, I believe it's his birthday today. So happy, oh, birthday, happy birthday to birthday, Jamie, guys. Jamie, Jamie, Jamie's birthday happy birthday. So that's the reason he's not in today. Oh, okay. But I have a question to you, Jeanette, because how did you come up with the idea of this beautiful uh, Ubud Sorry. Food Festival? Well, you know, we all love uh, eating so much in this part of the world. and. Uh, Hey, we don't really have a food festival of this nature in Bali. Of course, we already do the, the writers' festival, so it's just yeah. like there's something missing, and I think it's food. So yeah. here we are. Great. And we've got such great ingredients and great food, so why not? And, and there are many new influences coming in Indonesia, yeah. right? Yes. So the base will be Indonesian yeah. cuisine yeah. and Balinese cuisine, yeah, but our French chefs, Spanish chefs, yes. uh, Philippine yeah. chefs, yeah. great. Yeah. And so the, the food festival is just there, uh, yeah. but as we have not the best internet connection right now, <laughs> yeah. I cannot show you around. Yeah. But as soon as we have finished the dish, uh, Tim, the cameraman, uh, will just walk and you will well see when the connection uh, falls yeah, out, falls down. Okay, okay so done. Burn. done. So this is number one. So you boiled the chili, now we have uh, crushed it, now it became paste. Now it becomes a paste and now we have some coconut, grated coconut which I'm sure you can get it anywhere. If you cannot get fresh coconut, it's easy. Just get desiccated coconut, the dry coconut that you get from the um, from packages, you know, which I'm sure in Europe, I know in Europe, they got a lot of that. So yeah. use that one. I don't know if they yeah. got fresh I mean, this coconut. Is, well, every now and then you will find it, but I, I believe the taste will be as good, right? If you- Of course, yeah. fresh is the best. Yeah, fresh Naturally. is the best, but the other one are good substitute. So a bit of grated coconut, and we steam the coconut first for about 10 minutes. Now steaming it, well, uh, you, you know, we live in a tropical country. So if you don't steam the, the coconut, uh, the grated coconut, it will get uh, bad quite fast. Okay. So you need to steam it so it stays fresh longer. Okay. okay? So now you add your chili paste. Chili paste, yeah. Try not to touch it with my fingers. <laughs> So, and could you describe, because Indonesia is this huge, big country, right? Yes. So, there are different flavors, uh, uh, different ingredients in all the parts. Uh, and your, your base is Ambon, right? Mine is, yeah, Eastern so Indonesia So, where is Ambon. the main difference? Is that the spiciness? Is it's, the it's sweetness? It's actually the, 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 the flavor. If you go, Eastern Indonesia has more spicy, lots and lots of chilies and heavily spiced. Because it's influenced by the Middle Eastern, because you know, Indonesia, the, the Strait of Malacca yeah. used to be like the, the space uh, uh, trade, okay. the, 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 the spice uh, road, I should say. If you get a silk road, they get a spice, spice road. road. <laughs> and that's why the influence of the Middle Eastern, the Indian, it comes in Sumatra, where the, east, uh, the eastern part of Indonesia. Now, as you go to the central part of Indonesia, can, start mixing yes, it? can you start mixing it, everything? And oh, here, we got a map. 
Good. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. We have this big, huge map. It's upside down. This is the start of the recipe, right? So, perhaps we can go just a little bit here. Oh, no. We can see here, yeah? So, this part is very spicy and very very it has a lot of herbs and spices you know just cumin. have like a, 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 a this, this is jakarta so that's main, jakarta yeah so it's, this is we are north. here right now here here bali bali here we go we are here there's everybody okay i i come from here ambon this is ambon and in Asia, as i said from this point to this point it's like from london to moscow so the diversity immense. Uh, is, yeah. is immense yeah but they say is that the ammonies Cuisine is one of the most healthiest in the world. Right? Exactly, because you know, you know we boil, we steam, we grill, no we don't do any deep fried. Okay. okay, so I've mixed this. Uh, yes, Barbara. you mix it. Now we have a bit of shallots. Just so this is a typical local shallot here, but yeah. you can use any. You can use onion instead. You can use onions, or no. perhaps you can use red onion instead. Yeah, so it's, it's a bit sweeter. Yeah? yeah. So you mix that one again, and now. The star ingredient. Jeanette, Jeanette, sorry, before we start with the star, yeah, are there yeah. any more questions? Uh, well, we, so we have a question from uh, Zoe Udi, and she asks us for places to recommend eating in Bali. Well, I'd probably have to say my home kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. Janice's <laughs> yeah, home kitchen is the best, actually. <laughs> um, there's just so many wonderful places. I mean, uh, all the places that are participating in the festival are pretty fantastic, and uh, of course, Seminyak. Where do you start? There's just so many what I, what great I remember, places. Because I was here like in 2002 for the first time. Yeah. Is that there are many more, right? Yeah, and true. Many more good restaurants yeah. and different angles. Yes, true, true. And yeah, that's true. Yeah. So you're getting a bit of Indonesian here or yeah. kind of European or Spanish or some people are just fusing the whole thing yeah. together. So really that's, a, that's a hard yeah. one to answer, but... Uh, you, it's have, all you great. just have to come here. You just have to come here. That's right. That's right. Yeah. If, you, if you would say the, for the top three, what is top three to eat in Bali? Top in your, I mean, you never get. Well, number one is we have all Jan this at home. And my two restaurants. Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, just come to Ubud and find out. Yeah. Um, you won't be disappointed. Okay, so I've added, so now we go to the main one. The main uh, one, which is, is the uh, smoked fish, smoked fish skipjack tuna. This one, which has been shredded, you know, all the bones and it's, it's gone. And you add. And now the most important thing with kohu kohu is the tuna has to be the most uh, in terms of volume. Okay. And it should be really dry. Yeah? So it should you, be really if you dry. Buy a can of tuna, you really, really should drain Ex exactly. it. Exactly, drain it properly. And you, drain uh, it properly. What, what do you suggest? So, uh, having tuna in, 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 in oil or in, in water? Water, in water is better. Yeah. In brine. In brine, right. Good. Give it another mix. So, if we say we have like uh, uh, a bit of coconut, like how many grams? 100 maybe? We the have? coconut, was, I think it's about, it's not, not more than 100 grams. Yeah, we like not three chilies. Grams. So, it will be and quite about, spicy. Right, and then three chilies, but three shallots that has been sliced quite okay. thinly and now we have uh, snake beans these are snake beans we long call beans. it same, long beans also if you don't uh, you know have this you can't find this feel free to use just your regular French beans it's also your fine. green beans yeah. yeah so you chop it really fine right that's what you did gives a nice okay. color to it I've got a another nice question pres another question someone said hang on sorry uh, gosh how do you say his name? Jeez, jeez. Uh, he's, <laughs> sorry to mispronounce your name. He said he missed the start and what are you making? Okay. Yeah, good, yes. <laughs> yeah, because this is live. Uh, for us it's also uh, the second time. So it's Facebook and we are on a live stream. And we are li uh, live from Indonesia, from Bali, from Ubud. From Ubud. And from an amazing food festival, which is the um, Ubud uh, Food Festival. It takes place three days. So it started today, right? We'll be here on Saturday and Sunday again. And this is Chef Barra. Hi. And for me, he's the most inspiring chef in Indonesia. Um, he's a famous chef. He, he has his YouTube channel. He has his Instagram. And he's now adding the French beans or the, the long the, beans. The long beans. The, the, the long beans. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, we're making a typical, a very healthy, uh, easy to make, uh, but very typical Indonesian Ambonese. Ambonese. Um, salad. Tuna dish. Tuna yeah, dish. Salad. Yeah? yeah. So, in goes the long beans, the snake beans. Now, if you want to blanch it or you want to just sort of like... Uh, you know, boil it for five seconds. All fine. It's okay. The beans. The mean, beans. Right? Yeah. And now, but if you want to have it nice and crunchy, you you don't boil you, it. You right? don't boil it. As yeah. I said, it's very good if uh, if you're vegetarian. 
in goes the calamansi. Oh, this, this is a very typical uh, Eastern Indonesian lime, which we call it lemon china or we call it lemon chui. Also in Manado it's called lemon chui, by the way. You're going to Manado, right? And um, we call it in, English, in English it's called calamansi. And how could you explain the difference in taste in between this one? Because it looks like a lime. It looks right? like a lime, but the color is, is like a, a yellow a orangey also. this is lime and this has a slightly orangey color and it tastes like it, it looks more sweet or it isn't it maybe. isn't sweet at all actually because of the orange but maybe you think of orange but no no it's not it's not okay. it, it, it's very it's sour with a slight tartness squeeze to it. it in yeah squeeze it in and I need like I need like quite a lot now you, you need to use a strainer okay let me do it and you can go to the next ingredient yeah just use the strainer because we need a lot actually. Well, okay. I have something that is ready, so I go, there you go. Oh, that's good. <laughs> well prepared, Bara. Okay, there you go. You can mix it. And the last one is the bean sprout. Bean sprout comes in. Yeah. It goes in the, the last one, it. so you yeah. won't break it. So it'll stay nice and crunchy. So I slowly move it around. And we have the beautiful lemon lemon basil leaf this is lemon basil it's very aromatic it's all you can substitute yeah, with just basil like holy basil. Yeah. yeah and then you just add so it while in. you're adding this i have a question for Jeanette also yeah. so if people would love to start cooking indonesian mm -hmm. uh, and seafood obviously yes we have a uh, we are uh, we're doing a seafood show uh -huh. so what would be the easy entries how what would you uh, well, advise um, I think in a way I would just start off with a grilled fish thing, yeah. don't you think? Indonesians do grilled uh, fish. Yeah, we grill really a lot beautiful. of fish. We, we, we yeah. do grilling a lot. And plain would, grilling, maybe with some sambal or... You, you, well, we would just use ketchup manis and a little bit yeah. of oil and finely shredded lime leaves. Yeah. Maybe a little, bit of, uh, yeah, a little bit of garlic perhaps. Yeah. Just really simple and just baste it when you're cooking and you're going to get a really beautiful kind of uh, almost caramelized skin of the fish yeah. and uh, fantastic with sambal of course. Okay, Yeah. Mm. good. So, Grilling fish, yeah. fresh fish, right? Fresh fish. You have fresh fish. Yeah. We are maybe one hour from the coast, mm -hmm. Jim Beach. Yeah, uh -huh. They have lovely fish, lovely fish small scale lovely fisheries, fish. uh, yeah. fishing one by one. Yes. It's amazing. Yes. Hey, it's we have another question. Yeah. Somebody just asked, El Manu, uh, well, is, is it true that you can eat uh, the beans if they're not boiled or steamed? I think you mentioned that before, but just uh, asking if that's okay. Yeah, it gives, I mean, I, I would say, I mean, of course, you can uh, blanch it, but it will get softer. And I think within softer. a salad, you want to have a bit of this crunchiness. Mm -hmm. You want to have this you know, bit of bite. So if you want to be saved and have organic, you know, long beans. But you should cut them. Maybe we can show it's really, really fine. This is your knife. Um, so really, like the finer you go, uh, the less uh, ne uh, necessity. Yeah, no, it's to to blanch it. So really go very, like very thinly thin, slow. Yeah. yeah. So this is it. And then there is no reason to blanch them. And Actually, another question. Michael Kovalkov Kovalkov Kov asked, "What are the most unusual and typical fruits or vegetables in Bali?" Salak. Ah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's a, a, a snake fruit. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah snake fruit. Yeah, snake fruit. Yeah, uh, yeah. And then I would say uh, jackfruit. Jackfruit. Oh jackfruit. my God, I love jackfruit. Balinese jackfruit, jackfruit is yeah, also very yes, famous. Yeah. And mangosteen. And mangosteen. Yeah. yeah. That's really, really mangosteen yummy too. Or mangosteen, so yeah. it's kind of unusual and totally delicious. Yeah. Yeah. This one because we we stay in a beautiful place and. Every morning when we have breakfast, it's like this oasis, there's all these beautiful fruits popping in freshly. Um, okay, back to the seafood, back to the salad. We're it's almost done, there. actually. Um, I see some nuts still there. Yes, right, right? that is like the garnish. And that is called canary nuts. Canary nuts. Canary nuts. And these are the canary nuts, yeah, right? Yeah, there you go. That's actually there not nuts. Go. They're actually the seed of a fruit. Yes, it's actually the seed of a fruit. And this has been roasted. Can I have a taste? Yeah, yeah, taste so, yeah, that. So, yeah. Can explain, you know, the flavor and the taste. Like it's soft, yeah. little bar. Yeah, thank you. I love this. So, no, it's beautiful. Mm. It has a bit of the softness of the almond. Mm. And of course, you can substitute it with almonds. Yeah, so we can make this recipe. Mm. So if we go back to the beginning of this recipe, you can, well, easily find chili around the world. Um, if you cannot find uh, uh, these uh, uh, basil lime leaves, just use regular basil. Exactly. If you cannot find, sorry, Barra, the name of these uh, canary. nuts, canary. canary nuts. Canary nuts. Easier to be replaced by cashew. And almonds. 
Yeah. And, and almonds. almonds. Yes. And here we have cassava. Beautiful. Manioc, they call it as well. Manioc. Manioc, yeah. I think the German call it manioc, yeah. And it, this has been boiled with turmeric, coriander, and uh, salt and some garlic. This is the turmeric, right? That's the turmeric. You can just you break and then there you go. Beautiful. We it's use a lot of turmeric in Indonesian uh, cooking. Yeah, maybe so. go back to here because while you are beautifully organizing this bowl, we have a few ingredients which we didn't talk about. So we have ginger and we have the turmeric and this one, Bara. That's the white ginger. We call it kanchur yeah, here. Yeah, okay. And this is trasi, right? That's trasi, shrimp paste. It gives a lot of taste to, well, many dishes. Yeah, this is the trasi. Beautiful. Guys, look at this. Ah, there you go. It's the, how should we call it? The seafood salad of the Barra. Seafood, the, 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 the skipjack seafood smoke. Uh, the skipjack salad. The smoked yeah. skipjack but salad. I was don't forget, saying. I mean, you can use any fish, hot smoked or smoked, to make the, this dish right. Right. Good. Any kind of fish. Lovely colors. And now it's, I think it's time to taste right. <laughs> ah, that's <laughs> good. Janet, would Janet, you like is to there, try? Is there another question? Yeah. Uh, well, like well, no, but I, I actually, uh, there's a little message there, uh, but kiss from Jewel and Tease. Ah, okay, <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> my daughter. kiss, my kiss. Yeah. <laughs> They're the other side of the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Good. Yeah. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. So. I have to have the bit with the canary on it. It I looks really healthy. I love canary yeah. so much. The canary, mm. you know, it gives that certain mm. kick, you know. And you make just make sure that the canary is roasted mm. and so it's crunchy. But it's really balanced. Mm. I mean, we are often used in Europe to make salads. We often use like oil and vinegar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you taste this, this is I mean, something you have very the simple. It's soft. You have a little spiciness. Mm. I mean, I, I did a lot of work or a lot of work. <laughs> I, uh, I did not do yeah. a lot well, of work. In Holland, just buy a lot of chili. A bottle of sambal ulak, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah it is. Yeah. So we just buy the. No, but it's. Uh, I mean. But it is not spicy as it looked like. This is what I wanted to say. And you have the crunchiness of the nuts, the basil, mm -hmm. the lime. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. Great. So, Jeanette, could you uh, tell tell the audience what kind of uh, of, of, of uh, um, well, exhibitors you have, like local produce? Yeah, yeah. Um, our focus is on local produce, so the theme is you know, local. Yeah. Uh, so we brought in uh, well, local businesses who are doing their own versions of. Um, maybe Indonesian food or yeah. some sort of a combination. Uh, but we also have the guys from Flores with their own honey and uh, I think the bee man's there and then there's the other guys. So it's drinks and food, right? Drinks because and food, Because we have food. Yeah. even beautiful wines in Bali yes, today. Yeah. Um, yeah. Beautiful beer. Yeah, beautiful beer. Yeah. We have all the other kind of uh, groovy drinks, the kombucha and all the tonics. And then we've got the, the gelato man who's made um, turmeric gelato, Ooh, gelato wow, secrets, yeah. That so, um, yeah, lots of different things. The, the, the duck man, who's doing duck pate in Turin. So, duck pate? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so there's quite a good variety of uh, local Many food. Many things too. So, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. great. Yeah. Well, thank you, Jeanette. And thank, thank you for you. having us here at this yes. beautiful Ubud Food Festival. <laughs> yes. um, thank you, Bara. Yeah. Um, My pleasure, Bara. <laughs> Please, Bara. Thank you so much, Bara. Uh, if you're on Instagram or on YouTube, it's Bara Super Cook. Bara Super Cook, yeah. Uh, to get inspired, all different kind of Indonesian food. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, uh, and this live stream will be uh, still on the Facebook page of uh, Jamie Oliver's FoodTube. Ask your questions. We, Bara, I, we'll Jeanette, try to answer. Yeah. responsible yeah. to it. Yeah. 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 And um, Tim is going to give you a little tour as long as we have the Wi Fi connection. Yeah. So thank you for watching and hope to see you soon. Bye bye. bye. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah.
Hello. Shoot me, not my pie.